and I'm signing autographs for the waiters and the owner comes out and I get followed into the parking lot and women are throwing themselves at me and women are throwing themselves at me and women are throwing themselves at me and I'm not bragging about it, I'm just telling you. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. The show in which women are throwing themselves at me Okay, guys, um, yeah, so um, in this segment of the show, we're going to look at uh, one of my favorite YouTubers. You know, he's a bit of a whack job. He's a bit of a nut. He's a bit of a nut. He's a bit of a nut. It's this wacky random lunatic on the internet. His name's Tim Pool. I like to check in and be like, how is he tricking Mimas and Peepaws who live in the middle of nowhere and they are scared and confused? around the country how is he doing that today deal okay, well, I, I i just want to say there's like a the very big difference between trump biden and klaus schwab and all of these people like when these people were so, yeah he's the kind of guy who comes in and gives everyone in the office the flu it just just stay home okay he's getting sick germs all over his co-workers the same way that women are throwing themselves at me <laughs> I was talking to one of my skate buddies. Yeah. And they were just saying they don't want to they don't want to speak out. You know, they don't mind saying some things, but they don't want to get political. It's not them. It's not what they do. They're not interested in talking about these things. And what? I said to them, listen, dude, <laughs> this is one of my this is one of my favorite things that this guy does is he'll be like, I was talking to an unnamed friend of mine. I was talking to an unnamed friend of mine that I can't talk to anymore. Like, and you can't contact. I was talking to a friend of mine. You don't know him. He goes to a different school in a different district. And I said to them, listen, dude. I said to him, my guy, there are children. What is, to wrong? what is wrong with this guy? Like, honestly, my guy. OK, there are children today. Right. right. That are skateboarders and they don't hear a word from you. OK. About what you believe in. OK. Who you support who you vote for, what you want for this world. Uh, but right. I'll tell you do, who, who they are hearing from the groomers in their schools and the abusers. <laughs> Oh, wow. Now, the reason why people Amazing. don't want to speak up is exactly the story. And now those kids with no guidance have to you go in the middle of the woods. Ding, 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 ding. So, yeah, I haven't been able to watch this guy's uh, crap in a long time because women are throwing themselves at me. But uh, just when I think this guy's content can't get any stupider or any low or the f the bottom can't get any lower. He like finds a he finds a vent in the floor and then he goes down in the vent. And he's like, it's worse. And uh, I want to remind you guys that this dullard, not his fault, but he absolutely is a dullard, should have fit. One of the people, one of the few people who I truly believe should have finished high school. There was a terrible tragedy that happened a while back, you know, very recently, where there was that there was that shooting at that gay nightclub. And this guy, man, I mean, that that he's still that he's still technically a part of society, you know, that he's still that he's still allowed to like live in a state after he tweeted this. We shouldn't tolerate pedophiles grooming kids. Club Q had a grooming event. How do prevent the violence and stop the grooming? They write in academic papers their intent. Ooh, la la. They outright say they're doing it. Oh, wow. And then they use the media to try and smear people like me or James Lindsay and many okay. others. Okay. Libs of TikTok. Oh, because amazing. While they do it certainly more than I do, anyone challenging their attempt to target children must be stopped. So, yeah, you know, this grown man who wears a beanie uh, likes to tell his, you know, troubled, deeply troubled fans that uh, oh, there's a group of people. There's a group of people out there, man. You know who they are. There's a group of people who are disgusting perverts who are trying to get capture your kids. There's a, there is some truth to that, actually, but it's not who they think. It's not who they think. What happened in her homeland that made Ayn Rand need to escape and move to the USA? The rise of... Uh, I know what happened. Women are throwing themselves at me. Women were throwing themselves at me, Alex. What happened in her homeland that made Ayn Rand need to escape and move to the USA? The rise of communism. Oh. That is correct. It was the communist takeover or the communist revolution. During That's the Bolshevik really revolution, weird. Ayn's family saw Oh, the comments turned off on the kids' video. That's sort of like uh, that's sort of like the windowless van of YouTube videos, I think. Dennis Prager, you know. Well, we announced yesterday that yeah. over the next three years, right. we would be investing one hundred million dollars here at the Daily Wire okay. into making children's entertainment content. The reason being, I'm a parent. Uh oh, uh oh, pervert alert! Pervert alert! Stay away from my kids. Stay away from my kids. This guy does strike me as a little bit. 
does strike me as a little bit of a pervert. I'm the, I'm just saying my reaction. Like, what do I? I look at this guy. What comes to mind? You know, pervert, creep. You know, windowless van type pervert. You know, it's really interesting. I want to mention this too. Oh, I bet it's I'll really it interesting. You got a kid, can't read, uh -huh. dried blood, peeing in the yard, covered in hair, smelling like feces. <laughs> You know, the, the satanic panic of the day for these people is, you know, books and school libraries. They're all, they're doing this. They're doing this. And they're kind of doing that. And they're also doing this. And the one that they're really pissed off about is some book called Gender Queer. They're like really upset about this. For some reason, he's really caught up and worked up and upset about a drawing in this book where kids are peeing outside. Or they're... <laughs> or the the idea he's just ups, he's upset and just completely thrown he's completely shook by this idea of that some kids peed outside i'll say it again great you got a kid can't read wow dried blood peeing in the yard okay covered in hair smelling like feces mm -hmm. and people are making fun of uh, making fun of her look at but then all of a sudden she meets the queer straight alliance wow and they're like thank you for being here we love you and she goes, yes, this is who I am. Exactly. No surprise. It's it, wait, 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 wait. Where did Tim find this guy? Hey, uh, for commentary here on uh, the goose step and Nazi shit that I just said, he's a guy who works at the local gas station. What do you think about that? He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. Can I stay here? Can I live here now? You know, actually, I just thought of something that might help this guy uh, to face his fear of peeing outside. Take off that stupid beanie, you know, go put it outside, you know, put it on the edge of your, you know, your, where you live. And, um, it, you know, consensually, consent, we would agree to this. We would sign all that, shit, you know, uh, I will pee all over that beanie. <laughs> I will soak that stupid beanie in TT, okay? In TT. That will be a moist ass beanie. It will be like, you know, I have health problems. <laughs> You know, I have health problems, you know, so I have sort of like, you know, the way a cat pees on your bed or your couch or whatever, and that it's just ruined, you know, that that scent, that weird cat scent, you know, that you say, why did I adopt you? You look, you look at the cat and you say, why did I adopt you? That's the type of pee that I will do again, consensual, totally consensually. Yeah, but I mean, this guy's saying some real crazy shit on his channel, even for me. You know, I've been making fun of this idiot for a long time. And even, even, I don't know if it's just because his channel does seem to be shadow banned. So he's like, oh, I got to keep, I got to keep these people around. So I got to, I got to, I got to up my moron game. Okay. So even though this guy is saying disgusting, you know, homophobic, uh, insane bull, um, he does contribute artistically. Check out this skit idea that this guy has. <laughs> you know, Seamus and I, uh, came up with a bit a while Ooh. ago about bill gates that we never got around to making because we because we could put it on youtube it right take the day off take the day oh no <laughs> no i gotta i gotta upload this brilliant stuff okay here you go it was basically a gag about how like bill gates is his day and it's like he's uh -huh. driving down the street and he like he pulls into a mcdonald's uh -huh. and then he's like oh, i'll have the big mac with a large fry and don't forget uh -huh. the ketchup and then when he pulls uh -huh. the drive through they hand him the bag and he looks and he goes there's no ketchup and so it's like a series of things throughout the day where okay. he's he gets minor inconveniences okay. but like once he he's really angry the woman knocks on the window and she's like oh forgot your ketchup and then gives him more and then he has an app on his phone okay we can't talk about it on youtube but it activates a certain thing okay. in people that wipes out humanity. Oh, and uh, so he's like sitting there staring at his phone, like ready to press the button. And then she's like, wait, don't forget the ketchup. And then he's like, oh, oh, thank you. And then he keeps doing it. Just like the general idea is that these people. Yeah, it's good when you have to go into an explanation of why it's funny. Here's why that's funny. Let me explain really quick why that's. Oh, man. Oh, please. Please tell me that skit's going to come out. I got to see that goddamn skit. You know, you drop that skit on YouTube. I'll take a break from my normal life, which is... Women are throwing themselves at me. Okay, you know what? These people did make a skit, though. Check out this skit. Oh, I love skits. Check out this skit. Okay. This is like a jackass-type parody, okay? Okay, yeah. It's confirmed. The microwave yeah, cannon. What the hell are you doing, Chris? It's a 
I'm microwaving you. I'm microwaving you. Right. Yeah, man, it's a good skit. That's a good skit, man. Th this reminds me of something that like kids would come up with at camp, and the counselor or whatever is like, "Okay, guys, we gotta, you know, does that make sense? <laughs> does that make sense what you did, what you made with the cat with the camcorder?" So I watch this. I I guess what it's supposed to be is like a jackass parody, but like a guy. It's fictional. It's a guy builds like a microwave gun, and he's like hitting people with the microwave gun they're like they're like oh you know they go ah you know and then you know it's like jackass you know uh, i actually came up with a funny skit idea that the tim pool can have this for free um it's about a grown man who wears a beanie and he hires a guy and they get lawyers and all this and they both sign these these things so it's totally consensual that one guy can urinate. The guy, the beanie guy pays the other guy to do this, by the way. Like 10 grand. Pees all over this beanie. I mean, just. Ugh. Teenagers, despite his 36 years, Tate appears fundamentally never to have grown up. Oh, shit. I'm too smart to read, he announces. Sure you are, Andrew. I need action. I need constant chaos. Okay. I need to be driving a supercar and effing fighting and effing a bunch of hoes. Wow. Women are throwing themselves at me. In other words, women are throwing themselves at me. You know why that's inspirational? <laughs> inspirational. Yeah, Tim Pool is the target market for Andrew Tate. You know, people with the mind of a, a 15, 14, 13 year old. Okay, here we go. These people don't get it. I've talked about this before. Yeah. I like books. I like reading. Okay. But uh, I typically just read the internet. Right. That's the thing. Yes. So I don't know if, I can tell. if uh, I'm pretty sure what Tate was saying. He has this viral video where he was like, I don't read books. He's like, I read online. Right. Something like that. Yep. I could be wrong. But my view yeah. of this is, I think books are archaic. I think books are great. Okay. They're archaic. Pendejo. Why? Why? In the, modern, in the modern era, you can actively fact check what it is you're reading. Amazing. So I remember reading a physics book. This is a while back, 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. and I thought it was all fascinating. Later on, I started looking some of these ideas up and found that they had been corrected and they were wrong. And I said, okay, here's a problem. This book contains information, uh -huh. some of which is no longer accurate. Wow. Why should I read it? Amazing. And that's the point. <laughs> yeah, and now this I agree with. Absolutely, this is correct, which is that thank God there's a source. Thank God we don't have to read books anymore because books are fallible, okay? So thank God there's a source of information that's always correct, the internet. I wouldn't be surprised at all if Trump had a 49 state landslide. And especially if you're this guy, all your sources are the Daily Mail, the Daily Caller, the Daily Pervert, you know, post-millennial, these weird, these weird sites that boomers click on on Facebook ads, Fox News. Why would you read books when you have infallible sources of information like that? Those are basically like, you know, in the Northman, when the guy goes to go see Bjork, you know, she has you know, all cosmic knowledge and all that crap, whatever. Those are the websites Tim Pool goes to, basically. So why would you need books? Why would you need books when you could just do this? Oh, by the way, I am writing a book. It's called Skit Writing. It's called Skit Writing for Tim Pool, specifically. It will only sell one copy. There's one skit. There's basically just one skit that you should do. And it's a guy, you pay him to pee on your, on your peenie. It's called victory. <laughs> well, let's talk about this story from the post-millennial. Tim Pool okay. gives out decks, skates with fans at Freedom Plaza, Washington, D.C. Amazing. You heard me all last week saying that I was going to be in Washington, D.C. at Freedom Plaza skating just to be there to hang out. And I'll tell you the story. Okay. And I'll tell you why this is victory. Uh -huh. And I need you to hear this. And I need you to share this with your friends. I'm not going to. This past weekend uh -huh. was a lot of fun. Oh. The weekend before was also a lot of fun. Wow. I showed up to DC's Freedom Plaza with my girlfriend skating by myself. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like an amazing victory. That sounds like an amazing. Wow. Oh, you there skate? You know, you dragged your girlfriend to Freedom Plaza and you were skating by yourself? Oh, wow. Women are throwing themselves at me. But we're going to create a cultural scene. Yes. We are going to push back and rebuild. 
in the in the windows of our building will not say please don't hurt us antifa it will say molan labe it will say america first it will have an american flag and a big old beautiful okay. don't tread on me because i'm not i'm not here to yeah that's great man this is his idea is going to build some kind of a cultural center with a skate park and a and a cafe and it's going to have sign out front that says america first you know they got a skate shop down the bottom, you could buy skate decks, wheels, copies of the Turner Diaries. What? Hey, what was that last one? Uh, what, wheels? No, the other one. De skateboard decks. No, you know which one. Wheels? No. You know you could get coffee, jeans, skate shoes, copies of Mein Kampf. Wait, what was the... Hey, what was that last one? Uh, what, just shoes? Skate shoes? Get woke. Go broke. Beanie soaked with pee pee. The Golden Globe suffers all time lowest ratings oh. as America turns away from wokeness. Oh. It's a good sign. It's a good sign. Okay, this one's called Golden Globes Gets Woke, Goes Broke. Ratings collapse, collapse to an all time low as woke clown show mocked. Okay, so it's, it's woke. But it may also be bad because. From this point of 2020 to 2022, a lot of people died. A lot of older people. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't sound like wokeness. You know, a lot of old people died. A lot of people, a lot of older people who would watch the Golden Globes in this time frame that he's talking about, 2020 to 2022. Yeah, they get, that's woke. Dying is woke, actually. I do agree with that. Dying is woke. Oh, I'm going to go to heaven where everything's equal, you know? It's woke. It's woke. It's woke garbage. Oh, I'm non-binary. You know, I'm, I'm dead. You know, I'm dead. I'm non-binary. You know, you go to a funeral, you look at the casket, you're like, is that a boy or a girl? Can't even tell anymore. Wokeness, you know? This is just, um, this is just a classic YouTube video. I mean, this is like almost too easy. But uh, here we go. Check this out. This, this is great. This is perfect. Here we go. The, wait, this one's called Biden admin does want to ban gas stoves. Panic after massive backlash. Oh, great. Have any of you stopped to consider no. that your use of your gas stove okay. could be harming the stakeholders in your neighborhood? I mean, the indoor pollutants alone are causing a decline in the cognitive function of the people you live with. <laughs> okay. So says Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're starting off very sarcastic, right? Oh, yeah. Gas stoves are bad for you. Yeah, right. Let's. We're going to jump ahead roughly four minutes, okay? You can watch this video. You got the title. Same video. A December 20, uh, 2022 study in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health uh -huh. found that indoor gas stove usage is associated with an increased risk of current asthma among children. The study found that almost 13% of current childhood asthma in the U.S. is attributable to gas stove use. Okay, I mean, that's bad. Let people know and they can decide for themselves. <laughs> Classic. Classic. That's great, man. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you that you uploaded a YouTube video. If you want to slowly phase out natural gas stoves, whatever. If you want to get <laughs> off natural gas in the homes, so be it. Whatever. <laughs> you know what? There is one reason to keep the gas stove, though, and that is women are throwing themselves at me. I want to give a shout out to one of my favorite Twitter accounts. Yeah, do it, man. Angela Bell Camino. Oh. Man, uh, her Twitter account is absolutely fantastic. She <laughs> hits it out of the park. Okay, this is the kind of Tim, you know, how many how many views on this? 208, 238,000 views in three days. He still gets a lot of views. And this is a Tim I like, you know, where he's just saying the stupidest, craziest shit. She recently had a particularly viral tweet about... <laughs> boyfriend material oh wow and in response someone posted a picture of this man uh -huh. i have seen this photo before and i feel really bad for this guy <laughs> like just people making fun of him you know right look man i wouldn't wish being a soy boy on anybody okay i, I, I can't imagine anybody actually wants to be a soy boy uh -huh. okay okay so we skip forward about six minutes we're looking at the same picture of some random guy that uh, some girl tweeted, they're like, oh, this is your boyfriend. You know, some catty Twitter turd. Oh, this is your boyfriend. You know, and Tim Pool's like, oh, it's a soy, this is a soy boy. So he calls this guy a soy boy. And then six minutes later, he says this. But I kind of just feel like this guy's got some developmental disability. 
and I'm not trying to be mean. I, it, it looks like he's got a, a, a growth disorder or like some kind of enzyme disorder or something <laughs> to where when he was growing, right. his or body was stunted. Boy. Uh -huh. I'm not a fan of that. I'm going to say it outright. Y'all can laugh. Y'all can make fun of the guy. Y'all can use misery memes. I'm not telling you what you can or can't do. I'm right. just saying, uh, look at this soy boy. Yeah, you know, he might have a disability, but we shouldn't make fun of people who have disabilities. You know, soy boy. Pendejo. Okay, so then we skip ahead two, maybe two something minutes. And then, and then this happens. And they're based. And for all you know, this dude, based. Okay, probably not. I'm going to say it again, probably not. <laughs> But I don't know. Everybody's just racking on him. I don't, I don't want to keep talking about the guy, but it made me feel so bad. <laughs> I feel so bad. I mean, dude, just in the span of a couple minutes. Look at this soy boy. You want to, You know what? He might have a disability. Hey, you know what? He might be based. Probably not, though. Probably not. <laughs> oh, man. This is literally just some dude who is trying to buy an avocado and mind his own business. Yeah. Don't be mean to him, man. Yeah, yeah. Could you imagine somebody like talking about him on the Yeah, he's probably not based the soy boy. Ah, come on. Uh, this guy might have a disability. It's... What kind of what kind of a person? What kind of a urine soaked beanie person who up who blank faced uploads video who should, let's be honest, should have finished high school. Uploads a video mocking this man who's just trying to buy an avocado unbelievable it's unbelievable it is toilet but twist twist ending that guy turns around while he's buying that avocado and he goes women are throwing themselves at me women are well there we go guys just a little bit of sniffing just a little bit of sniffing and if you're confused about where you just watched this video well that's on you that's on you that's on you that's on youtube that's on youtube okay <laughs> great thanks what well guys we're get we're truck we're keep on trucking we're keep on trucking we're keeping on trucking through this week you know it can kiss our ass so hope you guys are doing great you know i'm glad that you watched this you know frankly because it's a little sad for an adult man to be talking to himself. Talk to you guys soon. Love ya and bye bye. Oh, hey guys. Guess what? You're not even getting the whole show. If you want every episode and a whole bunch of other sh subscribe on Patreon. Subscribe on Patreon for as little as two bones. Just click the stupid little link below the video in the comments. See it right there. There you go. Click it and that, yep. <laughs> When you become a patron for as little as two bones, you get the Tuesday, Thursday, patron-only episodes. Ah! You also get the weekly book oblega show where we talk about important books. The questions and comments th thing where you can ask questions and make comments and all this crap. And the weekly behind-the-scenes show. All for less than the price of a rancid Charleston chew. And for only 25 putrid little dollars, you could become a producer. That's right, support the show and get your name up here. Look at these people. Look at these, these people that make the show possible, okay? God. I mean, without these beautiful people, this show goes straight into the dumpster. A rotten, you know, just wet, disgusting dumpster, you know, behind a restaurant. So it's, there's old milk in there. That's where this show ends up without these people. Is that what you want? Okay, I guess it's what, okay. No, I guess it's what you want. I'll just leave. No, 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 it's not. It's too late. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here's the dump truck. Here's the dump truck come to pick up the show. This is what would happen with no producers. Thank you.